How are we doing, guys? Uh, text and test four here, chapter four point two. Uh, we're looking at page one one six one one eight. So these questions here from text and test four. Um, we're going to look at page one one six one one eight questions two six seven parts one and five and question eleven. Um, what we're looking at in this topic is a circle that doesn't have zero zero as a center. So instead, it has some other point h k. Um, and hopefully you'd be happy enough to say that the h coordinate of its center is a distance h across the x-axis and this coordinate x, y which is on the circle is a distance x across the x-axis. So this line here, the if we go back to drawing a right angle triangle, this line here has length h, uh, x minus h and this line up here similarly by similar reasoning that's y there that distance and that distance there is k so the bit that's left over is y minus k and um, so that's y minus k um, and this is the radius of our circle Okay, and again, they're related by Pythagoras. So you say x minus h squared plus the other distance, y minus k squared, is going to equal the radius squared. So this is the equation of a circle that doesn't have 0, 0 at its center. Um, now, later on, we're going to see equations in this form here, which you can find by just multiplying. If you square that and square that and move the radius squared over to the left-hand side, you can get that. Um, we'll address that in a few minutes' time. Um, so we'll start off with question two here, which says um, the given circle has a center at 2, 2. Uh, if the circle contains the point 5, 1, find its equation. Well, to find the equation of a circle, you need to know its center and you need to know its radius. Okay, so you need HK and you need R. Well, HK we know, that's 2, 2. So what we're looking for is the distance between 2, 2 and 5, 1. So... Here's our distance formula here. Between 2, 2 and 5, 1, it's going to be 5 minus 2 squared plus 1 minus 2 squared. We're going to get an answer of root 10, which means for that one, the equation of our circle will be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals root 10 squared, or equals 10. Okay, so there's the equation for our circle. Um, if you want to multiply it out, you can. Squaring this, you're going to square the first, square the second, twice the product. That's x squared plus uh, 4, uh, twice the product is minus 4x. Uh, same thing here, square the first, y squared plus 4, uh, twice the product is minus 4y. And you normally put it together then uh, as x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 4y, and then 4 and 4 is 8, move that over, you get take away 10, 8 take away 10 is minus 2 equals 0. So two versions of the equation of the circle there, either this one or this one, they're both good, they both work really well. I work mostly with this one and I prefer this one, uh, but you need to be able to work with both of them. Question 6 says, in the given circle, uh, it touches both the x-axis and the y-axis. If the radius is 3, then the write down the coordinates of C at center. Okay, well, at center there, if the radius is 3, that's this distance and that distance, which are your x and y coordinates, are both going to be 3. Okay, so your center is at 3, 3. The radius we know is 3, so the equation of that circle is going to be x minus 3 squared uh, plus y minus 3 squared equals 3 squared which is 9. Okay you can expand that out if you want to but that's perfectly good as an answer. Question 7 part 1 says it says find the center and radius of each of the following circles so they want us to find the center and radius of this circle. To do that you need to write it in this form here. Now I'm just going to give you a word of warning if you look back through the examples in the book they use a different method for this stuff that I think is very long and cumbersome so um, I would suggest you stick with my method here. Uh, so to get it in that form, we're going to move the 5 over to this side and we're going to rewrite this as x squared minus 4x, leave a gap, plus y squared plus 8y, leave a gap, equals, we've moved the 5 over, 
uh, so that equals plus five. Okay, so why are we leaving gaps? Well, we're looking to go from this to this, this form. We're not going to get that as an answer. Uh, but we're working backwards on the expansion we did a second ago. So a minute ago we said square the first, square the second, twice the product. Working backwards, you say, well, there's square the first. I know that's going to be x. Uh, square the second, I don't know. This is twice the product. So I want to take half of that number, uh, which is 2. Okay, and it's... Uh, to write it out squared, you say half of that number squared. This is called completing the square. So half of four is two squared, uh, half of minus four is minus two squared is plus four. Okay, now you can't just add a plus four into that equation, but you are allowed to add it to both sides of the equation. So I'm going to put another plus four over on this side. Same thing here, half of this number is four, squared is 16. So plus 16 on both sides of the equation. And what I get is x minus 2 squared plus, this is square the first, square the second. The second had to be 4. Twice the product is 8y. And um, equals uh, 25, which is 5 squared. Okay, so our center is going to be at, well, it's x minus the center coordinate. So that's 2 and y minus the center coordinate. So it's minus 4. Okay, so there's our center. Our radius is 5, okay, because it was 5 squared. Um, 7 part 5, same type of question, slightly different in that you've got these 2s everywhere. You're not allowed to have them in front of the x squared and the y squared. So the first thing we need to do is divide through. So we'll get x squared uh, minus 2x plus y squared, uh, and that's going to be plus 3 over 2y equals zero okay so i've rearranged at the same time as i've divided by two uh, divide that by two divided that by two divide this by two divide this by two i haven't had to move anything over this time because we don't have any loose term by itself here which is fine completing the square here well half of minus two squared that's going to be x minus one squared square the first square the second half of minus two is one squared uh, twice the product this one's a bit trickier, half of this number squared. In fact, let me just show you what I sometimes do is I'd say half of that is minus one squared. So that's where that comes from. I need a plus one. Uh, oh, sorry. And if I add plus one here, I need a plus one here. Um, half of three over two is three over four squared. Okay, so that's going to be nine over 16. And I can do that here as well, plus nine over 16. So what do I get? Well, this bit here is x minus 1 squared. This bit here, a little bit harder to get right, y. Uh, now they're all plus, so it has to be a plus. 3 over 4 squared gave 9 over 16. Just check it. Square the first, yes. Square the second, yes. Twice the product will be uh, 3y over 4 plus 3y over 4 which is 6y over 4 or 3y over 2. So that one's worked out. Equals 9 over 16 plus 1 is 25 over 16 which is 5 over 4 all to be squared. So the center is 1 minus 3 quarters and the radius is 5 over 4. Okay, and lastly, we'll have a look at question 11. It says, is the point 1, 1 inside, on, or outside this circle? Okay, so how do we do that? Well, there's the circle. The point is 1, 1. Um, what we need to do is draw out this circle, decide where its center and radius is. Okay, we don't need to draw it every time, um, but we'll maybe draw it for this one. Uh, so let's start off. Let's do our little rearranging trick. So x squared stays where it is, minus 6x, leave a gap, plus y squared plus 4y, leave a gap, equals, bring that over, you get a minus 4 on the right-hand side. Okay, well, half of this number is minus 3. Okay, so squared is a plus 9, so you need a plus 9 over here. 
half of this number is a plus 2. Squared is a plus 4, so you need a plus 4 over here. So this is going to be x minus 3 squared. Okay, check it. Square the first, yes. Square the second, yes. Twice the product is minus 6x, yes. Uh, plus y plus 2 squared. Again, check it. Square the first, yes. Square the second, twice the product. And that all equals, well, 4 take away 4 is 0, so it all equals 9. So the center here is at 3 minus 2, and the radius, because 9 is 3 squared, the radius is 3. So really what we're asking is, is the distance from the center of this circle, 2, 1, 1, going to be greater than the radius or less than the radius? So just to sketch that out, um, 3 minus 2 might be down here somewhere. Okay, a radius of 3 means it's going to be up here. So here's our circle. Something like that. Roughly drawn. You might guess that 1, 1 looks like it's outside the circle. But just to show that, we're going to say, well, what's the distance from 1, 1 to the center of the circle? 3 minus 2. Okay, so our distance formula gives us 3 minus 1 squared plus negative 2 minus 1 squared and that is uh, root 2 squared is 4 minus 3 by minus 3 is plus 9 that's root 13 okay and because root 13 is a bigger number than the radius which is 3 we say 1 1 is outside of the circle Okay, we'll see more questions like that tomorrow. I'm going to ask you to do now, on page 116, 118, can you do questions 1, 4, and 7, part 2. In class tomorrow, we're going to do 3, 6, we'll finish 7, we'll do 8, 10, and 12. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye.